Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Deck. As you can see, we have the Dayusha mat out, so that means it's another week of Vanguard. Today we're going to be looking at the last of the Dimension Police decks until for quite a while. It looks like Dimension Police won't be hitting America and probably sometime, and this is just my rough, rough estimation, of about March next year. Seeing as how set 11 is not going to be debuting till December. But let's kick right into it. Today we're looking at the Zeal Ride Chain deck. The Zeal deck is actually my personal Vanguard deck right now. It probably will be for quite some time. I really enjoy it, and it's a very effective deck. We'll get into its discussion and capabilities later on down the road. First off, we're going to be looking at Larva Beast Zeal, the Grade Zero Starter. Larva is, starts off the ride chain. He's very good because while he does have 4,000 power, whenever you ride him, you get to look at the top seven cards and look for the grade two or the grade three. The better, best thing about this version is that uh, when you do not ride the grade one on him and ride a different dimension, please, he gets to come out and act as a booster. It's very, very good and something that's really needed. Um... We'll move on to the other grade zeros, uh, which are, back to excuse me, we are running eight uh, stands, four critical triggers, and four heal triggers. We're going to be running uh, nothing but vanilla triggers in this deck because the vanilla deck, because the effect triggers really don't work for zeal. So we're running four uh, noise monster decibelon. Four Cosmo Fang. For the criticals, we're running four Justice Cobalts. And finally, we are running four Dissection Monster Kaizons as the heal trigger. Again, my normal ratio is pretty much the standard ratio for most Vanguard decks at 17 zeros. For the Grade Ones, we are looking at, first off, we're looking at Dimension, at the first part of Zeal, Eye of Destruction Zeal. Uh, he gets initial 1,000 power, like all ride chains, so it brings him, if you ride on the grade 0, he becomes an 8,000. And if the grade 2 rides on top of him, it starts off the Zeal, uh, the primary engine of the Zeal deck, which is when the Devourer of Planet Zeal, which is the ra grade 2, rides this unit, if you have a card named Larva Bee Zeal in your soul, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and it gets 3,000 power minus 3,000 power to the end of turn. So that's one of the reasons why I really like the Zeal deck is it's unique to the entire game in that it is right now, to my knowledge, the only deck that causes opposing depowerment. That is very deadly, especially now that we're in the cross ride meta. So that brings all those 11,000s and 13k beaters down to very low levels of power, quite possibly even to the grade zeros if you know what you're doing. So up next, we are going to be looking at, we have four of the vanilla 8k beaters, uh, Karen Roy Daisy. Not too much to say on her, she's vanilla and she's 8k. We, of course, run four perfect guards, because they're perfect guards and need to be run four of in any deck, in my opinion. Um, I believe there's an article or a video somewhere that also discusses uh, why you should always have four perfect guards. But me, personally, I try to run four perfect guards in my deck. That's just a personal preference. I know some people don't, and all the more power to them. You want to run three, go right ahead. Personally, I prefer four, just for consistency reasons. And finally, we are running Commander Laurel. We run three Commander Laurel. Uh, God help you if you have to ride him. There's only three of them in the deck. I hope anybody that builds this deck or a variant of this deck that does have Laurels in there does not ride him. Um, he does set off our main engine. Since our deck does run stand triggers, we can run Laurel. And, of course, Laurel, you tap four rear guards along with Laurel. Stand the vanguard. So that means you essentially, once he's out and you have a sufficient number of rear guards, you can start twin driving on turn one or turn two and start quad driving on turn three. 
This makes the deck very destructive, especially because the opponent's vanguards are going to be in the grade 1 to grade, potentially grade zeros throughout the remainder of the game, so long as you can keep uh, negating power. And that's 15 uh, grade 1s. It is very, very good ratio. Well, for this deck it is. Next we're looking at, oops, Grade 2s. Grade 2s, we start off with Devourer of Planets. That is a multiple word, planets. This thing is bad. Like all the ride chains, he gets 1,000 power uh, whenever he rides on top of the Grade 1. He's already a 9,000, which is decent. He becomes a 10,000, which is preferable. Um... He also has a secondary effect of when this rides uh, Galactic Be when a card named Galactic B Seal rides this unit. Uh, if you have a card named Eye of Destruction in your soul, meaning the Grade One, you can choose one of your opponent's vanguards and give that minus three thousand for the remain for that turn. So once again, it continues with its minus three thousand power. Great card, love it. Next off, we look at the Vanilla 10K, uh, Twin Order. Again, if you've seen any of my videos prior to Deep Police and you're watching this on HenshinJustice.com, I do apologize. I'm not a big Metal Heroes buff, so I get uh, Sharavan and Shider confused. I just know it's the Red Metal Hero they're copying off of. Gavin I know for sure because I've seen the movies and I was actually a big... Gavin fan, but I never got anything else other than, you know, Gavin. So if it's Sharavan, that's cool. If it's Shrider, that's even better. But Red Metal Hero, Vanilla 10K, Twin Order. You run four of them. Finally, we run two Gunlocks. They are 9-8K beaters. Uh, he has the ability who works off of the zeal ride chain that says whenever an opponent's vanguard is at 8,000 or less, uh, this unit becomes 11k until the end of the turn whenever he attacks. We only run two of them because really we want the 10k out there. Yes, it's an 11k when he swings, but that's only when he swings and he just becomes an 8k grade 2, he's okay, uh, an alternate card that you can run that may actually be preferable is Super Dimensional Robo Die Lady because she's a 9k and she has an on hit uh, draw effect. Uh, we run two of him, bring our total uh, for grade 2 uh, ratio at 10 cards. Next, we're going to look at the grade threes. And we have Lady Justice, who suspiciously looks like Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z in a leather biker girl outfit. I'm not even getting into that phrasing alone. And God help me when Krillin looks at this card. Um, she is 10K. Why I like her and why she's in here, uh, primarily because I don't have any Miracle Beauties, is because Lady Justice, whenever she attacks a Vanguard, she becomes a 12k when she swings on her own. She doesn't need the boost assistance to gain her power, power, and she can be put in front of Commander Laurel and still swing for 12k. It's an overall good card. You run four of her. And finally, we get to the big granddaddy beast of them all. And the primary reason why I call this the Zeton deck, because if you know your Ultraman lore, Zeton, usually when he comes out, the Ultramans are screwed, and it takes a plot device, multiple Ultraman, or in terms of the latest movie, becoming a demigod to beat a Zeton, or a version of Zeton. This whole deck I call Zeton because it's all based off that Ultra Monster. But we run... Galactic B Zeal, which is the grade three, he's at ten thousand. He has Limit Break, which I believe I've only discussed once in Dayusha, but Limit Break is means the ability can only be triggered while you have four or more damage. His ability is Limit Break four, Counter Blast two, so you flip two of your damage over. 
Choose one of your opponent's vanguards, and that opponent gets opponent's unit gets minus one thousand for each of your rear guards. So, when we ride this on the grade two, uh, they immediately get minus three thousand power for the turn. When we use his limit break, we give them an additional minus five thousand. So we are taking thirteen k cross rides down to 5,000 power. We are taking 10Ks down to 2,000. That's not even a grade 2. We are taking the vanilla eight, 11s down to minus 8, 3,000 power. This potentially should win you the game right out the bat, even without Commander Laurel. You're running stand triggers in the deck, so you want to swing with a rear guard first, Swing with Galactic B Zeal. If you hit a stand trigger, you can give the power to Zeal, or you can give the power and stand the rear guard you just swung with. But this pretty much means you have just won the game with this guy, more often than not. Because making an opponent sit there and have to use up his entire hand, and they will, because when you're this late in the game, you're probably both sending it for damage. And, I mean... It's it's deadly to have some your power sitting there at uh, your opposing your opponent's power is sitting there at two thousand three thousand five thousand. It's pretty much going to be game over for them unless they want to sit there and spend all the perfect guards in their hands or use all the cards in their hand. And that's another reason why I run Laurel in the deck so I can quad drive. Um. He's a really, really good card. He is, honestly, this deck, to me, is better than the Dayusha deck. And I don't say that lightly. It took me a long time when I was building the two decks, side by side and testing, and Zeal is just better. By the way, we run three, we run eight, three grade, grade threes. So the deck ratio is built at 17, 15, 10, 8. Um, I mean, the deck is made for late game, if you want to carry on that far. Um, usually turn 4, turn 5 you win. The reason, again, I like the Zeal deck is because the Zeal, there is no other deck in Vanguard that does this. It is probably right now one of the most underrated decks in the game. I know people still run Dote, and don't get me wrong, Dote's a fantastic deck. Majesty of the Lord Blaster is a fantastic deck. It's just people need to be aware that this deck is out there. It is just that amazing. There is some fanboyism for me in this. I won't lie to you. I'm gushing all over this deck because it's my personal deck. But I look at it and look at the tournament scene and wonder why I don't see more of this deck. Because of what it can do. I mean, there's only so many decks that provide power alone. We're not in the break ride meta yet, so we don't have those 10,000 boosts coming right at the moment. We will start next month with Bermuda Triangle, but the Zeal deck is a very dangerous deck. I mean, essentially the deck makes your opponent miss a ride, is what it really does when it depowers the opposing vanguard. That's it for Dimension Police, guys. Um, thank you for watching. We will have another Let's Look, Let's Build a Deck for Vanguard. Uh, we're going to be looking at, I guess you can call them the cousins of Dimension Police, Nova Grappler. The Nova Grapplers are known for more anime-themed characters as opposed to Tokusatsu, including Zoids, uh, Chorus. There are some common Riders in the cards. Uh, and Gundams. So stay tuned, and in two weeks, I'll be back with uh, the Stern deck, or commonly referred to by those that look at the cards and go, that's a Gundam, the Gundam deck. So see you in two weeks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, guys, Ryder Kick here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Please leave all comments and criticisms in the comment section below. Your feedback helps me make this little show better. Also, please remember to go to my blog, totaljusticegaming.blogspot.com, and also hit the Facebook page. Uh, like it and let me know that what you guys think. Uh, also, the Facebook page is a place to go where uh, you guys can keep an update with the website. Website's going to be updated as much as I possibly can, about once a week.
So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Total Justice Gaming Let's Build a Deck.